I'm excited to share this video with you since this came from a conversation we had in Reddit and this video came from a question from Scotty1928 and Cynical Tree where they wanted to know if we could use Bitwarden and PowerShell in an easier way than the CLI. Hi, I'm Mo and welcome to the CodeLab. So in this video, I'll show you how to use a function I created to make the work between Bitwarden and PowerShell a little easy, but I hope that Bitwarden creates its own PowerShell module so it could be easier for us. Here's a quick demo of the function that I wrote to get the secret from Bitwarden. So the first thing that we're going to do is add a secret in Bitwarden. We're gonna call it testing three and we're going to set the password to PowerShell. So in my function, I created a parameter called secret name. Uh, that is the secret in Bitwarden. As you can see, I passed testing three. And as you can see here, uh, it returned PowerShell. You can then store the function's output into a variable and use it uh, in a password for your PowerShell scripts. As you can see, I'm gonna try it with a different secret that I have in Bitwarden called test2. And as you can see, the password matches what I have over there in uh, Bitwarden. I added a few other parameters to the function. One of the parameters that I added was to add it to the secret vault uh, in PowerShell so that the secret can be stored in the PowerShell vault and not stored in a variable as clear text. As you can see here, I stored the password from Bitwarden into the PowerShell vault. And if I do a get secret and pass the vault's uh, secret name, I can get the value from Bitwarden. Now, one of the things that I wanted to add to this function is to clear the environment variables since I just want to store the secrets in the PowerShell vault. So as you can see, if I do a print of the environment variables, you won't see any of the Bitwarden ones. Now, I know it's a little redundant uh, and I know that this can be easily achievable by just copying the password from Bitwarden into the PowerShell store, but this is the base to connect to Bitwarden and I can see an advantage not just with retrieving passwords, but with storing passwords back into Bitwarden that you generate in PowerShell. And in other videos, I'll cover other features like storing passwords that are generated in PowerShell or secrets that are generated in PowerShell and storing them back into Bitwarden. I think that is the real value of having something like this in PowerShell, and I hope that this video helps you. I'll be posting the function in my GitHub repo, so keep an eye out for the uh, link. Thank you for watching.